Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good yeah. evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, give me a second. I'm just letting them know that uh, that I'm here. Okay, so I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what happened, but um, Zoom. Uh, there, there was an update for Zoom, and I, um, you know, applied applied the update 15 minutes before the class, and after that, it got frozen. Se congeló y ya no pasó de ahí. So, but I'm here. Thank you so much for waiting for me. And let me just open up everything first. And prefiero que sea así. No vaya a ser que nos nos pasen para el viernes, verdad? Mejor hoy. Okay. Así que. It, it means that I'm going to finish the class at 8.12 today, okay, instead of uh, 8 o'clock. I mean, 9.12, I'm sorry, 9.12. Okay. Mm -hmm. Give me one moment. I'm going to open up here the information. And then I'm going to pass the attendance. Give me one moment. Okay, guys, I'm going to pass the attendance first. And let's begin with Alba Dir Portal Diaz. Present. Thank you. Alejandra Elizabeth Mendoza Arias. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ana Francisca Garcia Nieto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Claudia Marcela Linares Urquilla. Present. Thank you. Diego Anthony Melendez Mayen. Present. Thank you, Eliu Fuentes Velarde. Present. Thank you. Erasmo Perla Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Francisco Antonio Sanchez Jovet. Jaime Dagoberto Barrera Guzmán. Present. Thank you. Jose Carlos Rodríguez Linares. Present. Thank you. Jose Francisco Peña Peña. Present. Thank you, Jose Isaías Portillo Ramos. Jose Jovito Torres Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you, Mayra Lorena Portillo de Perla. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria Susena Ayala de Flores. Present. Thank you, Marvin Joseph Salazar Alas. Nati Ives Mendez Albeño. Rafael Antonio Morales Martinez. Present. Thank Present, you. Marvin Joseph, teacher. Marvin Joseph, okay, thank you. Eh, Rodrigo Antonio Meléndez Morales. Present. Thank you. Rodrigo Daniel Meléndez Mayen. Present. Thank you. Rosa María de Milagro Pérez de Paz. Eh, Sandra Patricia Merino Moreno. Present. Thank you. Jensi Marlene Leon Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. And Sulma Beatriz Perez Galdames. I'm here, teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's move on to what we were doing yes, yesterday. Yeah. Yes. Rosa Maria. Ah, Rosa Maria de Milagro Perez de Paz. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's go. 
back to uh, the material, right? So today's our session 14. So two more sessions, guys, and you will be finishing advanced one, right? And yesterday we were talking a little bit about giving advice. Also, uh, we learned new um, phrasal verbs, right? It related to or expressions related to sleep, right? And some of them were be fast asleep, be sound asleep, be wide awake, drift off, feel drowsy, have a sleepless night, nod off, right? Sleep like a log, take a power nap and toss and turn. By the way, today I was teaching a class uh, during the day and in the reading we had this phrase toss and turn. So uh, um, actually, I didn't know that one. I learned that one with you. And it was cool because actually I could go ahead and apply it, you know, uh, put it into practice just by the next day. So toss and turn means to move, right? Uh, to, move, to move around and the, uh, well, when you are sleeping on the bed, right? Because you are unable to, to sleep or to fall asleep, right? So that was about the vocabulary words that we studied yesterday. So in the in this uh, section number four, um, there they still continue, you know, with clauses. And as you have already studied, guys, there are different, you know, type of clauses that we have, right? And um, the ones that we studied throughout this uh, book or throughout this material. Um, it's like a basic, you know, um, because of clauses we have plenty and the ones that we are going to check today are clauses that state reason and condition, right? So even if, right, introduces a condition that does not influence the main clause, even if, okay? I sometimes lie awake at night, even if I'm really tired. Okay, now, if we are talking about clauses, that means that we, we are going to find more than one in each of these sentences, right? They begin with a phrase or with a word, right? That will tell us that it's been introduced, you know, in the whole sentence. Entonces, we were saying before that we have clauses. We have the main clause and we have also the dependent clause, right? So the main clause, we were saying it's going to be that the main message of what I want to uh, transmit, right? For example, take a look at the first one. It says, I sometimes lie awake at night, even if I'm really tired. Let's go ahead and type the sentence, I sometimes lie awake at night, okay? So I have one clause here. Aquí está mi primera clausura. Then I have, even if I'm really tired, right? I sometimes lie awake at night, even if I'm really tired, okay? So here we have two clauses, right? So if you see this one, the first one, esta la primera, looks to me like this is like the main clause. I sometimes lie awake at night, even if I'm really tired. Now, it says even if introduces a condition. O sea, esta parte de acá, right? Even if it's going to be used to introduce introduce conditioned, okay? Introduce conditioned, that does not influence the main clause, right? So that condition, if I'm really tired, I sometimes like awake at night, right? Or I sometimes like light awake at night, even if I'm really tired. So even if, cada vez que yo use even if, va a introducir la cláusula, ¿verdad? con una condición. ¿Y cuál es esa condición? Even if I'm really tired. And that condition does not influence the main clause. Quiere decir de que esa condición que yo acabo de presentar con even if no tiene ninguna influencia sobre 
la acción principal, que en este caso es I sometimes lie awake at night. ¿Ok? So, remember, clauses. Tenemos más de una cláusula. A veces las cláusulas tienen sentido por sí mismas, a veces no. Por eso es que hablábamos un día eh, de esto sobre dependent and independent. No, the independent clause and dependent clause. The independent clause, we were saying it has a meaning, right? And on its own, it can stand on its own and it has a message, right? It can stand alone. But the dependent clause cannot. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't have meaning and it cannot stand alone, okay? Now, what about the next one? Esta es con even if, even if, oops, even if, okay? Now, what happens with the next one? It's considering that, considering that. Okay, one, two, three. Now, it says considering that, introducing causes and reasons that explain the main clause, okay? so. I'm lucky, it says. <clears throat> I'm lucky I can get by on six hours of sleep. Okay, ahí tengo mi cláusula. I'm lucky I can get by on six hours of sleep, right? Give me a second. Creo que la cámara tiene un falso. Wait. Ahí está. <clears throat> And then considering that most people need eight. Considering that most people need eight. Okay. Very good. So here we have uh, two sentences or two clauses, right? I'm lucky I can get by on six hours of sleep, considering that most people need eight. So whenever I am using considering that, right, as it says here, explains the main clause, right? So open parenthesis, considering that, considering that, explains, explains, Uh, the main clause, right? So, ¿por qué estoy explicándola? I'm lucky I can get by on six hours. I can get by on significa que puedo dormir, right? I can get by on. I'm lucky I, I'm lucky I can get by on six hours of sleep. Considering that most people need eight. So what I'm to, what I'm saying is that I'm giving an explanation on the reason one why I consider six hours of sleep is enough, right? Why? Because actually most people need eight. And in my case, I think I'm lucky because I can get at least six, okay? What about the next one? The next one is as long, as long as, okay? Tanto como, right? So as long as introduces a condition on which the main clause depends. Right, for example, it says, I can manage on five hours of sleep. I can manage on five hours of sleep as long as I take a nap during the day okay i can manage on five hours of sleep as long as i take a nap during the day so in this case i am explaining right so over here i'm going to open a parenthesis right and in this case i'm introducing introducing introduce right introduce um a condition okay that, no, sorry, on, right, on which, on which the main clause depends, right? So that means that over here, depends, 
over here. Esa que es acá, as long as I take a nap during the date, right? The, it depends on the, my, my main clause. Si yo solo digo, as long as I take a nap during the day, mm -hmm. as long as I take a nap, what? Right? Okay. Dice. Oh, that is an example, Jose Francisco. I'm sorry. Yes. Ah, okay. Considering that, right? Considering that, lots of people. Eh, are looking for, okay quiero ver let me see okay so i'm blessed because i have a job considering that lots of people are looking for want mm -hmm. muy bien excellent that's a great example i'm going to copy here the correction okay then the next one, right? As, get away. I was saying, I'm sorry, I was saying that whenever you have introduced, whenever you have as long as, cuando yo veo esta, uh, la frase en sí, right? Introduciendo una de las cláusulas, yo sé automáticamente que esta cláusula es dependiente de cuál? De la principal, right? So it cannot stand on its own. If I say, as long as I take a nap during the day, Si yo solo la digo así, se queda como eh, en, en, en nada, right? So I'm not, you know, trying, I'm, I'm not completing my thought, right? Then I have the next one. I have unless, right? Let's continue with this one, unless. Now, what happens with unless? It introduces something that must happen in order to avoid a consequence, right? So unless, right, unless I get a good night, night sleep. Unless I get a good night sleep, I can't easily fall asleep at school, at work, or even while driving. Okay, so unless I get a good night's sleep, right, I can easily fall asleep at school, at work, or even while driving, okay? <clears throat> now, what happens with this one? Cuando usamos unless, right, uh, I'm just specifying or introducing what needs to happen. Okay, so unless I get a good night's sleep, si yo no consigo esto o si yo no hago esto, ¿qué va a pasar? Esto, right? So that's why it says, and I'm going to add it here between parentheses, right? Uh, introduces, intro, sorry. Introduces, okay, it's something that must happen, right? Something that must happened, right? To avoid a consequence. Conse conse consequence, sorry. Okay, so this needs to happen to avoid this. Unless I get a good night's sleep, I can easily fall asleep at school, at work, or even while driving, right? But if I get a good night's sleep, right? this one happened, okay? And then the next phrase is just, right? Just, okay? Tenemos just or just in case, right? Cualquiera de las dos. Just or just in case. What happens with just in case? Let's take a look at the sentence. I always, I always set two alarm clocks, right? And between parentheses, we have, we have just, and then in case one of them doesn't go off. No suene, ¿verdad? To go off es eso, sonar, okay? I always set two alarm clocks in case one of them doesn't go off or just in case one of them doesn't go off. Now, what do we do with just or just in case? It says, 
in case or just in case introduces an undesirable circumstance that needs to be taken into account, right? So introduces, introduces a, and I'm sorry, undesirable. Undesirable uh, situation, right? That needs to be considered, okay? So whenever I use just or just in case, I'm introducing something that I don't want to happen, right? Something I, I don't want to uh, become true, an undesirable you know, situation, right? I don't want that to happen, we undesirable, okay? And that we need to consider. OK, obviously, um, you don't want your alarm clock, you know, to uh, uh, give me a second. I think the cable is just entangled. OK, so in that case, you don't want that to happen, right? Nobody, you know, sets the alarm thinking, hey, OK, I'm going to set another one just in case this one doesn't go off. No, obviously, we want our alarm, you know, to go off on time, right? Then the next one is only. Only, right? Now, only, right, I'm going to uh, type the sentence first. I only wake up early uh, if I have somewhere to be in the morning, right? Okay, I only wake up early if I have somewhere to be in the morning. So only introduces, it says here, introduces, introduces a condition that must be met for the main clause to be true, right? So introduces, okay, the condition that needs, to be true, I mean, that needs to become real so that the main clause, so that the main clause is true, okay? Entonces, para que esto sea verdad, para que I only wake up early if I have somewhere to be in the morning, right? So that means that this condition, right, needs to become real, right? So the other one becomes true, right? Only, I only wake up early if I have somewhere to be in the morning, right? If, right, uh, only introduces a condition that must be met, right? Only if, perdón, only if. Sorry, aquí me faltaba, por eso es que yo no le hallaba. Only if, uh, I, give me a second. I only wake up early in the morning if, my goodness, estoy viendo doble. If I have somewhere to be in the morning. Okay, very good. Now I, I, I got it. Okay, so only and if, right, introduces a condition that needs to be real so that the main, uh, the main clause is true, right? Okay, so whenever we use this one, right, for example, we say something like, I only uh, study if I have an exam, right? I'm going to type it here. I only study if I have an exam, okay? So let's take a look at, at the conditions. So in this case, um, if this one, Okay, introduces a condition that must be met for the main clause to be true. Entonces, ¿qué tiene que pasar? Tien tengo que tener un examen, ¿para qué? Para que yo pueda estudiar, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Qué tiene que pasar? Ah, que yo tengo que tener un lugar a donde ir en la mañana, ¿para qué? Para que yo me pueda levantar temprano. Entonces, ese como al revés. I don't know if, if I'm making myself clear. Right, but it's uh, it's kind of the opposite as um, the other examples, right? I'm going to share them with you through the chat. Y vamos a crear ejemplos aquí nosotros. Give me one moment. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Now let's create more examples here. Over here, even if. I sometimes lie awake at night, even if I'm really tired. Okay, let's create more examples. Let's see. I'm going to use mine. Okay. Um, she always finishes her assignments, assignments, comma, event if she has to leave early, right? There's always that person, you know, at the office or whatever we uh, work, right? That if this person, you know, even though she has, even though he or she has a lot to do, this person is going to finish everything before she leaves or before he leaves. It could be a woman, it could be a man, a, a, a man I don't know. So she always finishes her assignments even if she has to leave early, right? So in that case, even if introduces a condition, okay? So let's say for instance that today I have to leave at five, mm, but I have a lot to do. So even though I know that I, I, have, I, I can go ahead and leave early, I'm going to stay and I'm going to finish all my assignments. Okay, considering that, I'm lucky I can get by on six hours of sleep, Consider that, considering that most people need eight. Here we have the example that your classmate uh, shared with you, right? It was Jose Peña, right? So considering that, he said, I'm blessed because I have a job. Considering that lots of people are looking for want, right? So, uh, I creo que le copié el mismo, no le copié el que estaba, el que yo había corregido. So, this is one example using considering that, right? Uh, as long as I can manage on five hours of sleep as long as I take a nap during the date, okay? I can say something like, I can help, I can help with the dishes as long as I... Uh, eat an extra piece of cake. Ah, okay. Trato hecho, verdad? So I can help with the dishes as long as I eat an extra piece of cake. Okay. Algo así como puedo ayudar con los trastes eh, siempre y cuando decimos nosotros me den una, un pedacito más de pastel. Okay. Unless. Unless I get a uh, good night's sleep, I can easily fall asleep at school, at work, or even while driving. Okay, so something like uh, unless mm, okay, unless I have my car, no. No, this one won't work. I was going to give you an example, but it won't work. Mm, okay. I'm going to do it the opposite. Voy a pasar unless para el final. I can say something. You'll gain weight, right? You're You'll, er, you'll gain weight unless you stop eating, right? Okay, you'll gain weight unless you stop eating, okay? Um, what, what am I doing? So I'm introducing something that must happen to avoid the consequence. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que tiene que pasar para evitar eso? I, you need to stop eating. Para evitar que, que tú ganes peso, right? Then just in case, right? Just in case. Uh, I always set two alarm clocks just in case one of them doesn't go off, okay? I can say something like, I always carry a copy. No, because, no, no soy yo, la verdad que es mi esposo. My husband, my husband always carry a copy of our car keys 
Vamos a poner aquí just porque es opcional. Just in case I um, lose it, right? And it's true, right? The funny thing is that he works far away from here. He works at the airport. <laughs> And I live and we live here in, in, in Lourdes, Colón, right? So that would be pointless. But anyways, so my husband always carry carries, I'm sorry, carries a carries a copy of our car keys, right? In case I lose it, right? Or in case I lose them, porque dije llaves, verdad? Okay. This is, that's one example. Only, I only wake up early if I have somewhere to be in the morning, okay? She only, well, the doctor. The doctor um, accepts to check, you know, the doctor, Ah, the doctor receives you in the clinic uh, if you made an appointment. If you make an appointment before, if you make an appointment before. Okay, the doctor receives you in the clinic if you make an appointment before. Right, okay, so only if you, perdón, only if you, or the doctor only receives you, right? The doctor only receives you if, if you make an appointment before, okay? Entonces, I don't know if you have questions, guys. Voy a ponérselos aquí. Questions? Se lo voy a poner con todo y el ejemplo en el chat. No? Okay, so let's go ahead and create our own examples. Oops, perdón, este no lleva el otro. Let's create our own examples, okay? So I'm going to be uh, listening to yours. Let's take uh, five minutes, okay? Five minutes for you to create your own examples. And then we're going to share them. Uno de cada uno, please. Y por favor, digítelos en el chat para que lo podamos revisar juntos. Okay, es más fácil revisarlos cuando ustedes lo digitan en el chat. So please take five minutes for you to um, review. I mean, for you to create your examples. I'm going to set the timer here. There we go. If you have any questions, please let me know.
Okay, time's up. And I'm, I'm just receiving uh, a few messages here. So if you can add your examples, that would be great. Otherwise, I'm going to begin with the ones that I already have too, right? Let me see, I'm going to check them here. I'm going to open a second one. A second. It doesn't let me. There we go. So let's see. A ver, I sometimes, okay, I sometimes get bad grades even if I study a lot. Uh huh, very good, even if, right? We were saying that even if introduce a condition, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. What about the next one? My mother always worries about me, even if I am with my older brothers. Okay, very good. My mother always worries about me, even if I am with my older brothers. Okay, good, excellent. Next one, I am a good son, considering that my other brothers are bad people. <laughs> okay, let's see. I am a good son, considering that uh, my other, sin la S, verdad? My other brothers are, diría yo, para no ser tan así, uh, directa, black sheep, right? I am a good son considering that my other brothers are black, the black sheep, right? Son las ovejas negras, okay? Um, Sometimes my sister calls me on the phone even if she's busy. Oh, qué bonito. Okay, good. Sometimes my sister calls me on the phone even if she, even if she's busy. Muy bien. Um, next one. I want. I walk to my job as long as I have more than thirty minutes to arrive. Muy bien, Jose Francisco. Good job. I walk to. Yo diría, I walk to the office, right? I walk to the office or I walk to work, ¿verdad? I walk to the office, I walk to work, as long as I have more than 30 minutes, right? To get there, ¿verdad? To get there, para llegar ahí. Very good, I like it. Next, sigamos. Eh, dice, oh, hay más, yay. My son sometimes fall asleep early, even if they are tired. Mm. My son sometimes, by aquí sería lo contrario. My sons sometimes fall asleep early, even if they are um, even if they look very energetic right energetic okay this is which is my it, it was my case my daughter you know she would look very very energetic very you know hyperactive and i would i would ask her hey let's go to bed it's time to sleep and she would say no i'm not sleepy and i said let's go to bed come with me so i had to you know hold hold her and it was just one minute, one or two minutes after those two minutes, she was already, you know, asleep, right? So I think that's what happens, you know, with kids. They they need someone to remind them that it's time to go to bed. Even with, it could be a hug, it could be, you know, with a, with a story, with your boy saying something, etc. So my sons sometimes fall asleep early, even if they look very energetic, porque es lo contrario, ¿verdad? Uh, then the next one, it says, I will be in your next level <laughs> unless I fall, fail the course, it says. Okay, let's see. I'll be, right, I'll be 
in the next level unless I fail this course. Muy bien, very good. Real examples. Dice la siguiente. Oops. You must do the work even if you don't like it. Mm -hmm. Very good. Si ya se metió allí a eso, hágalo, ¿verdad? Dice, I always take a bath even if it's too cold. Muy bien, excelente. Excelente. I'm happy with my healthy with my healthy life considering there's so much sickness in it. Okay. Veamos. I'm happy with my health. Yo diría, with my health, uh, with my health, um, considering there's so much sickness in it. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with, I'm happy with my health, mm -hmm. conditioned, right? I'm happy with my health condition, considering there's so much sickness in it. Okay. Very good. I see. Okay. Then the next one says, I'll lend you the car as long as you give it back with a full tank. Ah, okay. That's a good one, right? Ah, sí, sí, verdad, llévatelo. I'll lend you the car as long as you give it back with a full tank. Así digan, chicos. Prestámelo. Sí, llévatelo, pero que regrese lleno el tanque, ¿verdad? Then the next one. You should be grateful. Okay, veamos, veamos. You should be grateful considering that I saved your life. You should be grateful considering that I saved. Como que está hablando del pasado, ¿verdad? You should be grateful considering that I saved your life. Mm -hmm. Next. I can make lunch as long as I have the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Aquí solo le vamos a corregir esto. ¿ve? I can make lunch. The lunch, si estamos hablando de algo específico, por ejemplo, I can make uh, the lunch for the party as long as I have the ingredients. ¿Por qué for the party? Porque estoy hablando de un almuerzo específico, no del almuerzo en general. Pero si yo no estoy hablando de un almuerzo específico, solo digo, I can prepare lunch as long as I have the ingredients, right? Or I can prepare, ay, que es solo uno reconoce. I can make the lunch for the party as long as I have the ingredients, okay? The next one, it says, I can work during 12 hours just in case that my boss asks me, mm. si sí, aquí tendríamos que cambiarlo porque estamos usando just in case, ¿verdad? Y remember that just in case, Dice que introduces an undesirable situation that needs to be considered. Mm -hmm. I can work during 12 hours just in case. Bueno, ese that no lo podríamos dejar ahí, ¿verdad? Just in case my boss asked, asked me in a good manner. Um... Podría decir algo así. I can be ready to work for 12 hours straight. Okay. I can be ready to work for 12 hours straight just in case my boss asks me. Right, as, as me, right? So I can be ready, no, mejor, I have to be, ¿verdad? I have to be ready to work for 12 hours straight just in case my boss needs me, okay? Quizás así se oye mejor. I have to be ready to work for 12 hours straight, o sea, tengo que estar listo para trabajar 12 horas seguidas just in case my boss needs me, okay? O oh, oh, tal vez no, dejemos, le, no le dejemos eso al jefe, sino que just in case podemos usar eh, la voz pasiva. Vamos a poner aquí la otra opción. Just in case it is needed. En caso que se necesite, ¿verdad? I have to be ready to work for 12 hours straight just in case my boss needs me. O oh, 
I have to be ready to work for 12 hours straight just in case it is needed, right? Muy bien. Tengo acá, you can go out as long as you do your homework. Muy bien. Muy bien, excelente. You can go out as long as you do your homework. Acordémonos que homework no es un, un, no es un contable, entonces no lo puedo agregar una S. Para contabilizarlo, puedo decir your homework assignment, ¿verdad? Solo su tarea, your homework, o podemos decir homework assignment. ¿Ok? Así sí. Then the next one, veamos. Oh, Claudia Marcela dejó todas las oraciones acá, veamos. I can mop the floor as long as you help me with the other room. Muy bien, excelente, good job. Unless I've done my chores, I can relax all day. Mm -hmm. Sí, está bien. Yo la diría al revés. I can relax all day unless I've done my chores. No, pero sería así, ve. Yo diría, I can't. No me puedo relajar a menos que haya hecho mis obligaciones o mis tareas, ¿verdad? I can't relax all day unless, right, I've done my chores. Unless I've done my chores. Ah, hoy sí, ¿verdad? Puede ser al revés también. Unless I've done my chores. I can relax all day long. Mm -hmm. Oops, está como está de más. Okay. The next one. I checked my my backpack twice before. No, give me a second. Aquí me, ahí me cuesta ver. Veamos acá. I checked my checked my backpack twice before I leave, just in case I forget a notebook. Yes, very good. She will only come along with us if we buy pizza. <laughs> okay, I like this one. She will only come along with us if we buy pizza to eat, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that work even if they don't pay me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that work even if they don't pay me, okay? Then the next one, don't use the telephone, okay? Let's see. Don't use the telephone unless it's absolutely necessary. Muy bien. Excellent. Well, guys, good job. You did it, right? You were able to use all the uh, phrases, okay? Uh, let me see if I can, uh, no creo que me vaya a dejar todas, pero let me try. Give me a second. Creo que se desactivó el micrófono y la cámara. I think I was able to get all of them. Mm, sí, sí, los pude agregar. Ahí están todos los ejercicios, chicos, en el, en el chat. Los que hemos ido corrigiendo. Ok. So, questions, guys. Questions so far? No? Ok. So, it was interesting, right? I think it's, it's cool. Um, because it contained a lot of, you know, information. So it says, match the classes to make sentences, then compare answers with the partners, okay? So I'm going to give you... Teacher, apagado el micrófono. Teacher, no se le escuchó, se apagó el micrófono.
Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, now yes. 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 Ahora sí, teacher, pero hace un momento se había cortado la comunicación. Can you hear me, guys? Yes. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Can you hear me, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Hola, hola. Hola, teacher. Sí se le escucha, teacher. Ah. Hola, hola. So, now you can hear me. But I cannot hear you. Pero yo no los escucho a ustedes. Sí, le escuchamos, sí, le escuchamos. Mm -hmm. Ok. Um, so, the thing is that no, no puedo, no puedo eh, cortar la clase para reiniciar el audio porque pues ya estamos a punto ya de finalizar, finalizamos a las y 12 entonces eh, voy a finalizar así. ¿Verdad? Si gustan, eh, vamos a, a, a revisar este ejercicio mañana y voy a pasar asistencia. Solamente, solamente eh, si quieren con la mano para que yo... Ajá, es que ustedes sí me escuchan a ustedes, pero yo no los escucho a... Perdón, ustedes me escuchan a mí, pero yo no los escucho a ustedes. Entonces, voy a pasar lista y así solo con la manita o en el chat me dicen presente porque no, no los voy a escuchar. De acuerdo. Entonces voy a comenzar ahorita. Eh, Al Badir por tal días. Thank you. Eh, Alejandra Elizabeth Mendoza Arias. Gracias, Alejandra. Ana Francisca García Nieto. Gracias. Claudia Marcela Linares Urquía. Thank you. Diego Anthony Meléndez Mayen. Gracias, Diego. Eliu Fuentes Velarde. Gracias, Eliu. Erasmo Perla Mendoza. Erasmo Perla Mendoza. Eh, Francisco Antonio Sánchez Jovel. Francisco Antonio. 
Okay. Eh, Jaime Dagoberto Barrera Guzmán. Jaime Dagoberto Barrera Guzmán. Ahí está, present. Thank you. Ay, también Erasmo, ¿verdad? Ya me contestó ahí. Ok. Eh, solo Francisco no está, ¿verdad? Then, um, José Carlos Rodríguez Linares. Gracias. José Francisco Peña Peña. Gracias. José Isaías Portillo Ramos. Thank you. José Jovito Torres Amaya. Thank you, José Jovito. Eh, let me see. Mayra Lorena Portillo de Perla. Mayra Lorena Portillo de Perla. María Susena Ayala de Flores. María Susena. Gracias. Eh, Marvin Joseph Salazar Alas. Marvin Joseph Salazar, thank you. Eh, Nady Ibis Méndez Salveño. Thank you, Nady. Uh, Rodrigo Antonio Meléndez Morales. Rodrigo Antonio. Rafael Antonio Morales Martínez. Ahí está. Thank you. Thank you, Rodrigo. Rodrigo Daniel Meléndez Mayen. Gracias. Rosa María del Milagro Pérez de Paz. Thank you. Sandra Patricia Merino Moreno. Gracias. Jensi Marlene León López. And gracias. En Zulma Beatriz Pérez Galdames. Thank you. Okay, so I'm sorry guys for the inconvenience, but tomorrow I promise uh, I promise you we're going to check this um, this exercise. And uh, again, my apologies for the inconvenience with the audio and at the beginning of the class, but thank you so much for your patience and your time and see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. See you.